What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So we got more work on Mad Max today. I got a whole week lined up for you guys, but uh, today I'm actually gonna be leaving right now over to my buddy Nick's shop. He's going to show us how to remove the wheel bearings and also the pulley bearing. And we're basically gonna remove all the bearings, get everything ready for powder coating, because I believe the company is either going to be picking up all my stuff either today or tomorrow. I should have it back probably hopefully in two weeks or less. So let's head on over there now. If you guys are new to this channel, hit, hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and hit a comment down below guys all right let's head on over to nick's shop all right we're over here by my boy nick what's up nick hey how are you so he's got his wheel he's going to be powder coating as well and we are going to take off the rotors on my wheels uh nick's going to be pulling out the bearings but i wanted to show you guys if you guys could see is this made out of like a rubber nick or something that's, well, it's, it's like, like a plastic, plastic cover right that seals the the bearing for the so ABS, a right? For so the that ABS, holds the grease in. and so it's probably the toner wheel is on there also. Yes. The yeah. ABS. So this is the ABS bearing. You could see how different it looks compared to that right there. It looks like it's steel, but this side, you can see the lip inside is wider, and it looks like it's made out of a rubber plastic material so we're going to take the rotors off nick's pulling out his bearing uh out now he's going to get that wheel powder coated i'm going to get the pulley powder coated as well because look at that it only has three thousand miles on it but it looks like it's been through the ringer we got to pull this bearing out too right yes all right so we're going to do that we'll show you guys the bearing uh that's the nice tool kit that he's got to we'll show you guys how how that's used because that's really important so you don't damage the bearing. That tool actually grabs it what from the inside you said Nick, right? Yes. Yeah. There's a lip on the edge of the tool that expands and you uh and you pull, pulls it out. It pulls it, it pulls out, it right? out, yeah, from the inner. Yeah, nice. So we'll show you guys how that's done. Who makes that tool, Nick? Any idea? Pit posse. Pit posse? Yes. That's a nice tool. We'll show you guys uh, when Nick's doing mine how that actually goes in and all that good stuff. I'm just going to take off the rotors for now. Okay, there's one. There's a little wash, there's a little wave washer with the bolt. Got the washer, here's the bolt. Where, uh, where's, where's oh, we'll your box over. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys over here what Nick's gonna do. Uh, we'll basically, show you gotta pick the right size, which is one inch. Yeah, so that base, let me see, let me just see, there's a lip on it, right? Yep. There's a lip on and it, and piece, that's gonna go this in. This goes in here. And that actually spreads it, right? That spreads open. it open and tightens it, makes sure that it doesn't pop off, so. Sweet. When it, once it puts pressure on it, it expands the inside. Gotcha. No good to bang them out, right? Like you no, said before? No. no. Makes no sense. You, you, could, you got a better Damage. chance of damaging the bearing. Right. And it snaps in, right? It's just snaps it. in. It just catches the edge of the bearing. Catches the inside, right? Yep. And now you're just going to expand it and it's going to put pressure on the inside. Nice tool. And this cup here, just how this sits on here. Right. So you can pull the bearing through. Oh, that's sweet. First, you want to oil all these threads as you're using this, just so you don't damage the right the tool. You don't damage what you're working on. Because once stuff starts galling. So Nick's got a what year ST coming in? 2023 uh, Road Glide ST. You got it coming in, right? Someone yeah, you know. I and order a bunch of parts for. We're going to be doing a whole makeover, exhaust, huh? Air cleaner. Um, Suspension? Poland's front and rears. Oh, nice. All right, so yeah. we'll bring you we'll bring you that video once he gets all the uh, parts in. 
see that new makeover? That's a brand new ST, right? Brand new. Brand, brand new. new. Nice. And if you're uncertain, you got a little window right there. You can see if your bearing's coming out. Yep. And it is. You hear it like pop, right? Yes. That first, first initial, yeah, the initial pop. pop. Yep. <laughs> Oh, sometimes it could be good, it could be bad. That's, that's right. You want <laughs> it could it to be the be tool good. popping out of the bearing, or the bearing right. popping out of the you need, Or the, ball, you need the balls popping out of the... <laughs> Sweet. Really nice tool. That one you gotta pull out too, right? Yeah, looks like it. So they actually have two bearings, right? One yes. on just well, there's one that's where our, basically all your stress is. Right. You know? Right, and you got this spacer here. Gotcha. Hmm. Well. Left all the way. Okay. Right in my knuckles. And this is how you bust your knuckles up. This is how you break your knuckles. <laughs> Now the pulley is ready for powder coating. Want me to put it over there? Yeah, right. Yeah, wherever. Uh... All right, pulley's ready. I just took the rotor off of the back wheel. As you guys could see, take a look at that bearing. That is the ABS side where the rotor was, and it does not look like that one. It looks like this one. This is the ABS side on the left side of the bike, left caliper where the ABS sensor goes. All right, so Nick's gonna pull out the front wheel bearings. Here. Nice. Oh. Hear that initial pop? That means the bearing moved. Really nice tool. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, definitely uh... not too not too difficult. And there you go. That's out. So the valve stem's got to be removed as well. You, when you give uh, the wheels or anything that, that's going to be powder coated, uh, they can't have any bearings in it. They can't have any valve stems. Uh, the wheel basically has to be bare. Oh, Just besides, like any other parts, right? Sand blasting and stuff, yeah. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, right. You destroy everything. Right, right. Think they blast these wheels, sand blast or bee blast, or you think they chemically remove the um, ship? Depends. Everybody uses. Ask them. Ask them. I'm curious. Yeah. So this way we could just tell the viewers. So now you gotta flip it around, right? Yeah. Listen to it pop. Oh. See, it like clicks. There's no yeah. Space yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you can hear it click. The it just holds to the back. Yep. You can't see it, but one day. Uh, when Nick has some time, right underneath that cover right there is his 2016 Road Glide. What, what size motor you got, Nick? It's a 103 twin cam punched out to a 107. 103 twin cam punched out to a 107? Yeah, with, yeah it's a 11 and hey, you a half. Got some, you got some good numbers. one. Um, bigger valves, bigger uh -huh. injectors. Port of throttle body. What kind of power are you putting out? Uh, it's 120, 131. Nice. Wait, or one, 129, something like that. Uh-huh. Yeah. And you also got the, uh, what do you got, the grudge box, the six-speed? the Baker grudge box. Yeah, so we'll go over that, because uh, he was actually on his way where to Laconia, right? Yes. And you, you blew third. Yep. But, uh, yeah, a lot of fun. How do you like the grudge box? You like it? Uh, yeah. 
Men's and men's? Yeah, you got the old ones in there, front and rear. Yeah, so we're gonna, we'll show you guys uh, when Nick has some time, uh, maybe when we come back, I don't know, maybe in the next couple weeks, if not, when we come back from Daytona, Nick will pull it out, black, beautiful road glide, really nice, sounds awesome. And there you have it. All right, one more wheel to go, and uh, we'll be ready. Hopefully, uh, they might come by today to pick up the wheels, the lowers, and the pulley. If not today, tomorrow. And what do you, what do you say? About a week and a half, something like that, right? Yeah. We should have everything yeah. back. Yeah. Well, he said he'd have it before you leave for Daytona. So. Yeah. <laughs> gotta gotta have it back before I leave. All right, Nick's gonna be pulling out the last bearing over here the ABS no no that's not the ABS that's no. the Cush drive side bearing that's the last one we got all the wheels marked super chrome Nick's wheel is getting gloss black then my front wheel super chrome the pulley is going to be uh, gloss black the entire thing and the fork lowers are going to be super chrome I got them all marked and ready to go Alrighty guys, we are back. See, that was like super, super easy with that right tool. And that's always how it is. As long as you have the right tool for the job, it's going to be very easy. Before I let you guys go, I wanted to go over a bunch of things that's going to be happening this week. So when I was washing the bike, I also noticed a bunch of other things that I'm going to be taking care of. Because the forks were leaking and as I was riding, and I told you guys a lot of that fork fluid was spraying on both sides of the bike all the way towards the back, also dripping down. I'm going to show you guys, if you guys aren't familiar, I'm going to show you guys how to change out the brake pads because I looked at them and they look a little soggy, look a little oily. So I'm going to replace them. I'm not going to mess around with my brakes. And also we're going to be replacing the air filter. Tomorrow I'm going to head on over to Harley Davidson, Burton County Harley Davidson, pick up everything that I need. I'm going to also have to pick up some 90 degree valve stems. Hopefully they have them in stock. But the air filter is really dirty over here with fork fluid right here. I don't know if you guys could see it, but I'm going to be changing that out. Maybe they have a K&N or something better. If not, I'll just put the stock one back in, but we're definitely going to be changing that out. And then as I was looking at the brake calipers, you know the covers? Well, if you guys remember on my previous bike, Silverback, the caliper covers, which are right here, they actually are like in this I don't know, stainless steel type color. Well, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm actually going to be painting them black. So tomorrow I'll show you guys how to do that. It looks really nice with the covers painted gloss black. That's what I'm gonna do. I did it on silverback. The last time I did it on a previous video, which was probably over a year ago, you guys like this, so we're gonna do that this week. We're gonna get some 90 degree valve stems so I have them ready. We're gonna change out the air filter. We're also gonna be changing out the front brake pads. I already went over the entire bike just to make sure all of the nuts and bolts are pretty much tight and on the up and up. The header pipe bolts, you definitely have to check them every now and then because they were pretty loose, so I tightened all that down. Bike is looking good. I cannot wait to get the wheels back because I'm so curious how it's going to look on the bike. Keep our fingers crossed, guys. All right, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys liked this video. And if you did, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. Appreciate you guys. See you guys on the next one. Peace out.